first up, we're going to moisturize and prime our skin. I'm going to be using my Tarte Drink of H2O. And I'm just going to apply that. This stuff smells so good. It smells like citrusy, lovely goodness. And I'm just going to apply this. I just did some face shaving with my razor. Not an actual razor, but um, like the precision folding razor from Tweezer Man. So my skin feels smooth like a baby's bottom right now. It feels so nice and soft. I love shaving off my peach fuzz. To prime, I'm gonna be using my Nivea Post Shave Balm Sensitive Skin Moisturizer, which acts as an awesome primer because there's glycerin in it. Now, if you guys have not tried this yet, make sure you give it a whirl because it really does work at keeping your makeup on for a long time and it doesn't irritate your skin or break you out or anything. And you just have to rub it in till it's tacky on your skin. So when it starts to feel sticky, I just like to go like this and then it starts to feel a little more tacky. All right guys, so to test, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. This is brand spanking new at the drugstore. I feel like I've been testing so many awesome drugstore products lately. I love it. And I really have never tried a cushion foundation before, so I was like, this is gonna be my first cushion foundation. So excited. I'm not gonna use the sponge that it comes with because I just feel like this is not gonna do a dang thing. So I'm just going to throw that to the side and I'm gonna do one side with a blender sponge. So this is the Real Technique sponge. I'll do this on this side. And then for this side, I'm going to use this flat top brush. This is from Shop Miss A. This was only $1. I'm not even kidding you guys. It was $1 and it's so soft. So this is the situation for the face today. I'm gonna try it out and see if a sponge is better or maybe a brush is better. So let's start. So the compact is interesting. Like you open it up and this is where that little sponge lives and then it goes off to the side and then you have the product in here. I am number 30 warm nude. I hope that this matches me and I hope it's not too dark. I'm just gonna fling my hair back here. Okay, so let's dip in. Ooh, it picked up a decent amount. It's very squishy. And ooh, this is fun. All right, all right, so far. So far it's pretty decent. Pretty good coverage. It feels wet and cold on my skin. <laughs> um, just, oh, I like it. I really like it. The coverage is nice. It feels natural. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel sticky. The color is not bad. It's a pretty decent match. It's like slightly dark, but it's fine. Like it's not too far off. And I'm just gonna go down my neck over here. I like it with a sponge, it's really nice. And I'm just gonna go on my forehead. I am not mad at this foundation right now, I really like it. I also like to blend on my ears lately, just because to make everything like blend in nicely. So don't forget about your ears, peeps. All right, I like it. I think this side looks really good. I really like the coverage so far. It's nice, it's lightweight, and it doesn't feel heavy. It has a slightly wet finish to it. It's not as like matte when you first put it on as the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, which I also tested and I will link down below. But it's super natural and dewy, but like I don't feel oily, so I'm into this. I'm really into this. Okay, so we have the side with the blender sponge, and now I'm gonna try it out with this flat top brush. It's very dense and thick, so I feel like it's gonna apply the product nicely. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in here and then buff it out. All right. Okay, the brush is nice too, but I'll tell you guys right now, I like the Beauty Blender better. I feel like the sponge gave more of an airbrush finish Whereas the brush is nice, but it doesn't feel as flawless as the sponge side. This foundation, I will use a sponge when I want to use it, but the brush ain't bad either. Okay, so this is the side with the brush, and this is the side with the sponge. I feel like the sponge covered a little bit better. Like, I feel like I only needed one layer, whereas with this side, I feel like I need to go over like once more. Oh, 
Also, don't forget your little nose holes down here because I feel like those always get red and it like totally stands out. So just <laughs> work your brush in your nostrils like this. All right guys, so we have the brush side, we have the sponge side. I really like the foundation so far. I really like the coverage, very natural. It's not too much. I feel like it's just enough and I would definitely wear this like on the daily to work because I really like the coverage it's giving me and I'm really into this like cushion cushion thing like I feel like it's nice it's spongy like I'm just I, I'm really into it I like it so far and I'm going to do the new concealer next for Maybelline this is the dreamy lose a hair on my mouth okay this is the dreamy brightening creamy concealer and this is in fair so I'm going to apply this like I normally would under my eyes and it feels like not that thick it's like more of a thinner waxier formula because it's in this little pencil thingy um so it's not going to be as creamy as say like a creamy concealer like a Tarte Shape Tape or the Maybelline Fit Me so it feels a little bit like waxy and like slippery as I'm applying it and it's so weird like when I picked this up it didn't even look that light but it's pretty light for highlighting under the eyes and nose this little thingy and then my chin okay you guys I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender I don't know how well this is going to cover but I guess we will see dab 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 blend it out it blended out decently and it covered pretty nicely I will say it's not as bad as I was expecting I thought I was gonna have like major darkness under my eyes but it's really not bad you guys it's definitely nice and brightening which I like like I feel like I look super highlighted under my eyes I feel like here it like caked up a little bit like in the inner portion of my eye so that's why I keep going in and like pressing it to kind of blend it out. I'm going to set this now with my RCMA no color powder and my sponge. So do a little bit of baking. And I'm just going to apply this right under my eye. And I will tell you guys, I am not big into setting my foundations. Like I don't like to look super duper matte. So Usually I'll just set like the areas of my contour, like the chin, the nose, under the eyes, and that will kind of be my setting for the day. Okay guys, I'm going to bake for about five minutes, and while I bake, I'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup, so I will come back and check in with you guys right after everything is done. So I'll see you in a second. Okay you guys, I am back. I finished all of my makeup. By the way, I will put a tutorial of all the other stuff that I did on my face on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. But I love this foundation, you guys. I am so impressed with it. Um, it is great. I love the finish. I feel so natural, but I feel covered, which is awesome. I don't feel like it's thick. Worked really nicely with all the other products I use, like my blush, my concealer, my bronzer, my contour. And I really like it, you guys. I feel very luminous. But I don't know, I just, I, I really, I'm into it. I really am. I'm so impressed with this. I am so happy that I picked this up. I'm curious to see how it's going to wear throughout the day. Um, you guys see right here, like I have a tiny bit of shine, but that's just from my highlighter. So it's not from the actual product, but I really like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I really like the finish and I definitely can see myself continuing to use this. I feel like some foundations they just like sit on top of your skin but this one I feel like it blended really nicely in and I don't see much difference right now between the sponge side and the brush side. I'm leaning towards the sponge side for using this on application for the Dream Cushion Foundation. So overall I give this foundation a thumbs up and I highly recommend this to you guys. I'm going to do a couple check-ins throughout the day to let you guys know how it is wearing and that will be on my vlog camera so stay tuned for that. So for now, I'm going to sign off from this camera and I will see you guys in my next clip to let you guys know how it's wearing. It's my first check-in for the Dream Cushion Foundation from Maybelline and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on my skin. It's been about three hours now that I've applied this. 
so I haven't really done anything I haven't like run out or gone anywhere but um, I feel like it looks really nice I love it what do you guys think I think it looks very natural I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face it doesn't feel cakey it's not sitting weird on my skin it's not separating I just checked in and looked in the mirror and I'm into it I'm really into it you guys I love it so I wanted to do a check-in while it was still light outside and I'll do another one later but it probably won't be light outside anymore which stinks but I think my skin looks really nice so I'm impressed you guys very impressed with my first cushion foundation Maybelline you're crushing the game I love all their stuff and the, oh actually the under eye concealer I wanted to show you guys too so you could see it's holding up pretty decent um, I don't think it's like anything amazing but it's alright um, I don't know if I would use it like on the daily or like you know it's just okay so this is what it looks like oh my gosh it's so stormy out right now and it's like windy and freezing um so i might go do a little bit of christmas shopping and i will check back in with you guys later but this is what it looks like after a couple hours all right you guys i'll okay, see you guys. so it is my final check-in it is about 12 a.m right now i just got home and i wanted to update you guys on foundation so it definitely it still looks good but it definitely wore off a little bit um like right here it wore off a little bit and it separated a tiny bit on my nose but most all foundations separate on this area of my nose like pretty much every single one i use no matter high end low end um and i'm getting a little bit oily right here on my forehead and a little bit on my nose but i think i actually have to set my nose i didn't do it today so that could be why i didn't powder my nose um, but besides that, I think it still looks pretty good for wearing it for about over 10 hours now. Um, I was just hanging out with my nephew, so like, you know, I was like, he was drooling on me on stuff. So, uh, it's, you know, it, it is what it is at this point, but I think it looks good. I really love this foundation. I'm going to wear it again tomorrow because I loved how it wore today. I'm super impressed with it and I'm really happy with it being my first cushion foundation and um, I think I could just maybe set my forehead more like here because I didn't do it too much today and my nose but besides that I think it looks still really good I like the way that my skin looks and yeah that's all I have for you guys and I really love it and I recommend it for you guys to try it out and that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!